Hello, and thank you for joining me. Today we'll be learning about line plot in Seaborn. Pretty standard plot. Seaborn, as always, does a little bit of extra to help with an analytics. So here what we're going to do is we're going to go SNS. We imported Seaborn as SNS. So Seaborn SNS dot line plot data equals DF. We're going to put the syntax in Seaborn. X equals one numeric feature and y equals another numeric feature. What's going on here is it's putting in a confidence interval. So it's bootstrapping and looking at the variation in this and by default it looks like a 95% confidence interval. If you wanted to look at a 99% confidence interval, you could do 99 line plot data, everything's the same, just changing confidence interval CI to 99. And you can see it's a little bit tighter. It's hard to see in this, but it's a little bit tighter. Okay, in this one right here, what we're going to do is line plot reading and writing scores, reading and math scores, sorry, still on the X and Y. The standard deviation is now the uh, kind of shaded area that we're seeing. The hue is now a writing score, so this is separating it by continuous variable. This is hard to get right with Seaborn, very valuable, but uh, hard to get right. And so putting the legend into auto. So here what it's doing is it's breaking the continuous variable by six categories. And you can see where this hue argument can be a little bit dangerous. It's very valuable, but it can be a little bit dangerous if you do too many categories, if you're changing the hue of too many categories. Here, we're changing the hue by the writing score. Really true, that's just, it's too much. It doesn't really seem like we can see anything there. Let's try a hue by a category variable. Uh, that has six categories and you can see six again that's quite a bit right here uh, and maybe looks I think this looks prettier uh, this looks like a child's painting and not really super valuable in terms of what you can gather from it. so if we use uh, a category that has only two classes like gender we can see the value now we can instantly see the separation between those two line plots the con or the confidence interval is still pretty separated. There are some overlaps there, but really we, we can get a good sense that gender really does make a difference, especially with mass scores in the vertical. So it moves it vertically separate than the reading scores. Okay, so thank you very much for joining me today and I will see you next time.